now we come to a case where we take a thin spherical shell, okay? Thin spherical shell. Okay. A thin spherical shell. What do we mean by shell? It is actually a hollow sphere. Okay. It is actually a hollow sphere and which is uniformly charged. What do you mean by that? That means the charge which has been which has been given that spreads uniformly all over the surface. Okay. This is actually a sphere. This looks like a circle. Fine. It's a thin spherical shell. So it is hollow. A very thin thin material which forms the whole shell like an egg shell. Okay. And the charges are uniformly distributed. Okay. They are uniformly distributed. If it was a metal sphere, okay, then the charges automatically get uniformly distributed. If it was an insulator, then you will have to kind of spray it or, or brush it around. Fine. Maybe by, by some, some brush or, or something. So you have to spread it around. Okay, you have to spread the charge. Now, we try to find out the field due to this at a point, okay? So, so there are two cases. The first is the field outside the shell. The shell. So what does that mean? What does that mean? It means that, that we have to find it at a small r small r which is greater than r correct at a small r which is greater than r now what happens the field outside the shell, okay, it has what kind of a symmetry if you can see? I have, to, I have to find out the field at this point, say. Okay, now this has a spherical symmetry. Okay, this has a spherical symmetry why because if i place you anywhere on this sphere and you do not have any reference point to see behind you then you won't be able to know that you have been shifted around on that sphere because you will have everything around you the same so so thus we draw the gaussian surface the Gaussian surface to be a sphere to be a sphere of radius r okay so I want to find this out here okay and and the radius is small r okay The radius is small r. Fine. Now, what do you think will be the direction of the field? The direction of the field will be radially outward, right? Radially outward for positive charge and radially inward for a negative charge
Why radially outward? Because let's say you say here the, the field is like this. Okay, then standing here due to the symmetry, there is nothing in that direction which will cause the field to bend in that direction. Whatever is for an observer who, who is standing at point P and looking at the sphere, it is absolutely symmetrical, right? In the sense that he stands here and, and the point which, which hits the, the sphere radially, from there if he sees, then he sees everything as it's absolutely symmetrical. So there is no point that will bend there or there or in whatever direction. So it has to be radially outward or radially inward. Okay. This because, because there is nothing on any one side, nothing on any one side. The shell on is the any, circle. Any one, yeah, this is the shell. Any one side that favors the field to be, that favors the field to be bent in that direction. Favors the field to be bent in that direction. Okay. So the field has to be radially outward. Okay. As we did in earlier cases, it is quite possible to find out the field by the first principle method. Okay. It is quite possible, but we are avoiding it here. It will become a bit involved, a bit involved. Okay. Not a lot, but yes, a bit involved. Okay. Now, that, so, so due to the symmetry, we turn our attention towards the Gauss's law. And we observe that over this Gaussian surface, okay, this spherical Gaussian surface, the, the, the surface area element is this. And due to that, the elemental surface area vector also points radially outward right all over the gaussian surface all over the gaussian surface the elemental surface area vector points radially outward points radially outward okay it found points radially outward now if it points radially outward that means at every point does at every point point the, the field is also radially outward, the, the area vector is also radially outward, so they, they, are, they are parallel to each other, they point in the same direction, thus at every point on the Gaussian surface, on the Gaussian surface, the, the, the electric field and the and the surface and the elemental surface area vector and the elemental surface area vector point in the same direction Okay, now I try to find out the, the electric flux, the electric flux phi E is equal to E dot ds, which is, which is E 
another thing that that we have we have missed out is also the magnitude of this field is the same right the magnitude of the field is the same all over the all over the surface area correct so lecture flux is that which is which is e into ds into cos 0 over the whole thing and cos 0 is 1 and e is a constant so e comes out right okay since e is a constant all over the Gaussian surface which is equal to the surface of yes yes the closed surface okay Gaussian surface is always a closed surface so we are integrating over the whole closed surface and that gives you how much e into 4 pi 4 pi small r square why because is, uh, the radius of the sphere is small r right now what is the charge enclosed charge enclosed is equal to q let this charge be q which is spread all over that is the charge enclosed right from the gauss's law from the gauss's law e dot ds is equal to q enclosed upon epsilon naught right and e dot ds we have seen is e into 4 pi r square which is equal to q enclosed upon epsilon naught so e is equal to q enclosed upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square 4 pi epsilon naught okay okay now you'll find out some similarity in this and we'll explore that what is the field due to see see what has happened what has happened is i have this q here okay q enclosed is is q okay q enclosed is q now what is the field due to a point charge which would have been here okay the same charge which would have been at the center and this shell would not have been there okay then at a distance of r what would have been the field the same the same do you understand that the field would have been the same so what does it mean it means that the field due to a spherical shell is the same is the same as due to field due to a charge Q spread over the surface area of a spherical shell is the same as if is the same as it would have been
due to the whole charge whole charge concentrated at the center of the spherical shell and this charge creating a field a field e at point p okay at point p